call me crazy like I didn't warn you. Yeah. Did you think I was just joking? Did you think I was just playing around? Assholes are nice guys. Assholes. Why? Because they fuck better. I'm just so freaking tired of men of this generation. Like, they suck so bad. I feel like a brand new, never been kissed virgin when I get the STD test back and I don't even have mouth herpes. Like, that shit is clean. I'm so used to hooking up with mid guys who then ghost me, but I recently hooked up with a really hot guy and he also ghosted me. These women just love to talk about how promiscuous and nasty and dirty they are. They, they can't help it. They get on camera, they just talk about all the things that they've done. And they wonder why men don't want to commit. Do they not understand men see these videos? So when they're like, oh, why guys don't want to take me on a date? Do, do, does a man want to invest his hard-earned money and resources into a, a 304, a streetwalker, a chick who's been plowed by tons of guys? The men or the bear? The bear. Okay, tell me why. Because men are scary. I mean, bears are scary too, but I guess it depends. If the man is under five foot 10, I think I'd say the man. Well, the biggest reason that I cut him off is because he was really into action figures. This is why you should never accept a coffee date for a first date. So I do not accept coffee dates from men. This is why I think you should say no if you get asked on a coffee date. I've said it before and I'll say it again. These men that want to take you out to coffee for a first date, they don't like you. When I do choose to go on a date, I want you to feed me. I don't want- Men are tapping out. These women are greedy leeches. They don't want to get to know you. They don't want to hang out with you. All they want to do is benefit from you. They want you to take them on nice dinners and, and dates and, and, and buy them nice stuff. They see us as walking ATMs, guys. I said it before and I'll say it again. You are a human doing. You are subhuman to these women. They could care less about your well-being and your happiness as long as you're there to make their life better. I just go for drinks and i feel like a lot of people will say like a coffee date or like let's just go for drinks and like see if we vibe and then let's do dinner the next time i see that as like you're cheap would you ever get double team who says i haven't oh, you've been double team my two little and my best friend four of us all together wait it was four of y'all so it's you guys you and your best friend yeah or was the best friend a guy no she's a girl would you be down to do it again only if Emma's there. If Emma's there. My best friend. That's your yeah. best friend? Yeah. Okay, what is her? You can call her. I got me and my cameraman. <laughs> we can make it work. I mean, yeah, why not? What's more important? A short, attractive guy or a tall, ugly guy? Tall, tall ugly. ugly. Really? Sure. Why? I just want someone to tower over me. That's like the control factor. I just feel like short guys have sometimes too much confidence. She's getting this confidence from her friend. Chicks that don't look good, who are unattractive, when they're around their attractive, good-looking friends, they think that they're their equal, but they're not. Yeah, and they're like, and they don't need to. Why do you think men should pay for the first date? Because that's their job. If that's their job, then what's your job? To get free food. Yeah. Yeah. This man gets rejected because he's healthy. What's your name? Antoine. Antoine, how old are you? I'm 27. 27, okay, and what do you do? I work at a plant, but I also personal train. Okay. Very cool. And uh, now, what are some things you like to do for fun? Really work out. So you're all about the gym? Yeah. Right over here, if we can have your name and age. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. Okay. And Jacqueline, why'd you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm initially not really attracted, but also you said you want a gym girly, so I'm not that either. I'm Lex. I'm 23. Okay. And Lex, why did you end up popping your balloon? Because he's not my type. Like, just physically, he's not my type. So physically, what is your usual type? Um... I'm sorry, I wasn't expecting it. Um, more, I don't know. I don't know. I can't even tell you. All these chicks that pop their balloons, deep down, they're just intimidated by him. He can't tell you why they're not attracted to him, but the truth is, he's disciplined. He has a life. He goes to the gym. He cares about his health. Most of these chicks that you're going to encounter, they're overweight. They haven't stepped foot in the gym since they were in high school, and they don't value their health. Most of these women will reject you because you have too much going on. You probably got your own place. You probably take care of your teeth. You have all the different things that are positive going on. So these women are like, oh, eventually he's going to reject me because he's going to see that I'm not nothing, that I'm trash, that I'm a loser. A lot of these chicks, they reject you because you are too good for them. Just like the energy, possibly, mm. or whatever. You said physically, though. Yeah, like physically, your energy is not. Hi, my name is Mishnah. I'm 23. And Mishnah, why'd you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon because at first you said you're a personal trainer. I started sleeping with multiple men 
I've never been in a relationship and I've slept with over a hundred, over a hundred and fifty. I lost count of the uh, men that I've slept with. Ladies, if he says he's got no hoes, that means nobody wants him. So you shouldn't either. This is the female psyche. They always want somebody that they can't have. This is why, guys, if you are pre-selected, if you've been out and about somewhere, you've been at the mall, the store, you got your girlfriend, a woman you're walking with, all of a sudden these women are looking at you. They're more attracted to you because in their mind, you're one of the other women. So you must be valuable. You must be great in bed. You must be an awesome partner. It, it's foolish, but this is how the modern women think. This is why they always go for players or guys who are other women who are womanizers. So the rule of thumb, if a woman asks you, are you talking to other women? Tell them yes, because they're going to be more attracted to you. They're going to want you that much more. Ross, what do women really want? I don't care what they want. I only care what they respond to. See, my focus is a little bit different from your other guests. There's what women say they want. There's what women think they want. And then there's what they actually respond to. I'm not an academic. I'm not a theoretician. I'm interested in what works on the street when it's time to date and mate. And what women actually respond to is not what they say they want. So what do they respond to? They really respond to a guy who's a challenge, a guy who's a question mark, a guy who keeps them guessing. Stop asking people what their body count is. Hey babe, what's up? Uh, I'm good. Rejected. Do you have a girlfriend? A wife? I'm gonna walk away. You're gonna walk away? Why? How should a guy approach you? Buy me a drink. Yes. So we all know in 2024, the dating scene kind of sucks. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that men no longer court women. Men no longer pursue women the way they used to. The reason men don't court women or pursue women like they used to is because there's no benefit in it. A lot of men have, have gone out with women. They took them on dates and these women have never called them back. These men have forked over money and bought them drinks and, and they got a fake number and, and they never heard from the chicks again. So a lot of guys are saying, OK, if I take you out, what am I getting out of this? On top of that, the guys that smashed you before that you hooked up with, they didn't have to buy anything for you. So why should I buy the cow if I could just get the milk for free? It's just the fact that I know I'm a hot bitch and I can bag any dude I want, but I'm just stuck on this one dude that won't make me his girlfriend. She said a lot in that 10 seconds. Women want what they can't have. I keep saying this. I have to stress it to you. So don't be too available to these women. Be distant. Be aloof. Because there's going to be a tons of simps that are going to DM her and say, you're beautiful, you're high, can I take you out? Women don't want those guys. Women want guys who don't want them. Something I don't understand is why men can have phones. <laughs> why? Oh. And why are they allowed at the house? And what is something that you regret? There's a guy I kind of wish I hadn't let go of. That's a bit of a regret. Um, he wanted to settle down and I didn't. I wasn't ready to. Now that she's old and gray, perfect example of a woman hitting a wall. Now she's regretting the nice guy that she could have had. Now the guy's living a good life. And look at her. Guys, this is why I never feel bad when a woman leaves you or says they're not going to work out or uh, we should just be friends. Uh, whatever. Let her go because she's going to regret it. Look at her now. Um, we were still quite young. And he did settle down and he did have a family and I'm super happy for him because I think he found the right woman and, he, and he's living his best life. But I really like this guy and I still kind of like this guy. Controversial opinion, but imagine being a man and having to worry about being a provider. It literally sounds terrible. Like I am a provider, I provide for myself, but imagine like my sole purpose in life, having to provide for others. Um, I don't know. Am I getting lucky today? No. Oh, yeah. You can just make it separate. Okay, perfect. You're about to waste my time and my money.